back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to actually start from 100 year old chart in gold. We are going to go indicate uh, go we are going to include 100 year of data and then we are going to zoom in step by step to daily time frame and see what's expected to happen on a daily time frame. So from this bottom somewhere around 1920 all the way right over here in 1980 I'm expecting that this was our wave one of a super cycle or grand super cycle this was wave two of grand super cycle this was wave three of grand super cycle and I'm expecting that we are haven't completed the wave four of the grand super cycle and I'm expecting that to be wave A wave B and wave C is expected to come down and complete this wave so I'm, ex I'm bearish is on gold on this pattern and once that is complete I'm expecting that we are going to see massive increase in the price of gold for good 10-15 years at least uh, 15 years I would say at least we are going to see the uh, the price of gold keep rising something like this exactly or something like this exactly um, starting from over here but in terms of price we are we're talking about in terms of price so I'm talking about from 1035 to we can actually see the price of gold hitting somewhere around um, starting from somewhere from 10,000 uh, about ten thousand dollars I would say yeah, that's a rough estimate that price of gold can actually hit ten thousand dollars an ounce and it's quite possible a uh, time duration is going to be somewhere around I would say 15 to 20 years we are going to see massive massive increase in the price of gold but before that happens we need to complete the pattern this is what I'm looking in the long term frame so here's the labeling in front of you if you are interested in seeing the labeling I'm considering this whole wave as wave 1 and this is the start of the wave exactly you can, can see so this is the start of the wave on, on uh, the bottom left uh, which is 0 and then this is wave 1 and this is wave 2 of grand super cycle wave 3 of grand super cycle and I'm considering we are going to complete wave 4 and once again if you look at wave 4 we are going to complete an alternation wave 2 was double zigzag and wave 4 is expected to be a flat correction or a side wave direction and I'm expecting that this is going to be a flat correction hence 3, 3 and 5 structure and then we are bullish uh, from over here let's have a look at uh, what's expected uh, un, uh, what expected in a smaller time frame and I was going to say that a lot of people are actually in, uh, thinking that the price of gold has already completed the correction and there's nothing wrong with it uh, and the whole point the time when they become really uh, right and uh, my analysis would be wrong when prices actually go beyond the previous high which is 2071 when price can climb before above 2071 in this particular swing that would mean that my analysis is wrong Similarly, when price drops below uh, this one, which is 1613, that would also mean that my analysis is right. I am expecting that we are going to be bearish, and this is uh, going to be W, X, and Y. One of the rules of Elliott wave analysis indicate that the ending diagonals within the ending diagonals, one of the waves could actually be a double zigzag. I'm expecting that is the reason why we have seen a deeper X that would mean that we are considering wave we are expecting wave 3 to be forming a double zigzag hence this is wave 1 and this is 2 of ending diagonal this is wave W of 3 this is wave X of 3 and this is going to be wave Y of 3 and then we are going to see a deeper price action correction and then finally we will see wave 5 hence we will be completing the ending diagonal and then we will be completing A, B and C of grand super cycle I mean so a cycle degree and then that would be complete our wave 4 of grand super cycle and then after that we are expected to see prices to rise in about 15 to 18 years 20 years uh, in a much bullish uh, form that we have been expecting for years right now especially when we have seen the bottom we have seen a lot of price action side waves and a lot of people have been really bullish but I guess that bullishness pattern is still uh, waiting and it still has, still has to come so once again if you are expecting and a lot of people are bullish on gold uh, understandable you have complete um, right to make an analysis and stick with it so a lot of people are considering this as a wave one and they are saying because we have seen W X and Y the correction is complete wave one and then we'll see a correction and then prices would go away but I'm expecting that no this we are going to carry it down 
and uh, we'll see how, how it goes either way we have one completely uh, bullish alt count and one completely bearish uh, alt count this labeling in front of you is something that I have come up with so far I haven't seen anybody come up with such labeling and the long time frame analysis that you are seeing is also something of my own research uh, it is not something that you will see somewhere else as well so let's go into a daily time frame and see what's expected on a daily time frame on a gold chart so I'm expecting that we are we haven't completed the 5F structures yet we have seen a massive uh, strongish uh, b strongly bearish wave 1 and 2 and I believe that wave 2 is complete uh, right at this time frame we have two alt count one says that the correction is complete and we are heading downward the other says that the correction is yet not complete and we yet have to complete the corrections so both alt count uh, one I'm I'm off point right now uh, more I'm more supportive of a point that we have completed the correction but be aware of the alt count that there is a possibility that we have not seen and the correction completed but I think right now that we have seen the correction uh, completed we are heading downward from over here let's go back on an hourly time frame to see actually we can see uh, some better data so once again keep in mind the alt count alt count is that there is a possibility that we are only seeing first part of the correction ended right over here and the second part of the correction ended over here and then we are going to see a wave going upward completing uh, a b c or expanded flat correction this the I, I'm more of a support point right now that we have completed the correction and we are going downward so in that case if we are going downward we can see that the subdivisions has already started that would actually mean that this was the sharper move was wave 1 and the sh this was wave 2 and then subdivision waves are going to complete wave 3 right over here once we have completed wave 3 right over here we are going to see a smaller correction as wave 4 and then wave 5 that shall actually complete the 5 wave structure that actually started all the way top and then this will be followed by a correctional pattern <coughs> hope that this uh, this kind of gives you an idea on a 15 minute chart we have an, a pattern that is actually indicating that the correction is still happening on on this level and I'm expecting that we have seen first level of the correction second leg of the correction and I'm expecting that prices are to go up right over here in this zone and complete the correction uh, we can actually see something like this as well so be aware of that as well anyway I'm considering that we are going to see prices upward right over here going in this zone and come down hence completing the correctional pattern of wave uh, sub wave 2 of 3 so this is sub wave 1 of 3 and I'm considering this is going to be sub wave 2 of 3 and we are going to see stronger price movement downward I'm bearish on gold as you guys can see I'm bearish on gold on a on a yearly time frame I'm ex expecting that 2023 is going to be bearish and sometime at the beginning of next year that is 2024 we will be able to complete the pattern that I have actually started uh, last year okay and then w within that the after that pattern we are going to see good 15 uh, 20 years massive uh, bullish uh, wave that we are going to see on super cycle let's have a look how things are going on in silver let me delete that so you don't come confused with that silver is showing a little more a little different pattern on smaller time frame L let me show you for what I'm expecting on our daily time frame first of all If you, let me see if you can actually show weekly time frame because there is a possibility some of you guys haven't seen in my analysis so here it is so here's the chart starting from that top I'm considering that we have completed a 5 wave structure right over here and this I'm completing a sharp correction and then we are completing an ending diagonal right from the top and I'm expecting that ending diagonal is supposed to be ended somewhere around 1170 and hence considering this is an A a B right over here and a C structure so the structure would be 5 3 5 structure this is what I'm going on with for now as soon as this structure is complete we'll turn bullish on silver let's have a look on what things are happening on a daily time frame 
and I'll try to show you the ending diagonal. So I'm considering this hole as wave 1 of the ending diagonal, wave 2 of the ending diagonal. This way deeper wave is indicating that we are probably seeing a double zigzag in wave 3 right over here. This is wave W of 3, wave X of 3 and wave Z of 3. Once that is complete, I mean W, X and Y, this is not Z, double zigzag, so we have W, X and Y. Once that is complete, we are expected to see prices go upward. So I'm right now bearish from this top right over here and we have seen bearish price action. And this bearish price action is expected to continue somewhere around $15, $16 and then a nice jump is expected in wave 4. Let's have a look what's happening on a hourly time frame. Within that hourly time frame, there is a possibility that we were actually looking for this correction to go deeper. Instead, we are seeing support coming over here. And I'm expecting there's a good possibility that we have not uh, completed the correction. And that correction could easily be a 335 structure. Let's see if we can zoom in on a 50 time frame and see it clearly. So here it is an A, a B and a C structure and then A, B and a C structure. There's a possibility that the correction is complete right over here. But it looks to me right now that silver is more likely to complete uh, something like the A structure with B structure and a 5 wave structure right over here. It's more likely but keep in mind that we are bearish. So next day Monday is expected to be bullish and then I'm expecting as soon as we see the completion of this pattern we will turn bearish so let me delete this pattern because this is not happening right now this is one of the count the other count is that we have completed uh, the correction right over here then ABC is completed and then this is wave 1 and wave 2 right over here and then we will do go down so just wait for this pattern to complete once again there are two possibilities the prices will go down over here and then turn or will actually go up right over here in that area complete and then turn bearish so both things are possible right now I'm considering this is a smaller wave 1 and that will be our wave 2 and then that will be wave 3 4 and 5 so I'm bearish on silver as you guys can see I'm waiting for the pattern to complete and then we'll turn bearish after Monday. I think Monday is expected to be uh, bullish or part of the Monday at least is expected to be bullish. Let's say the price actually ends up over here. In that case, the first half of the Monday uh, can be bullish prices and then we'll turn bearish. So wish you good luck with your trading. If you are looking at gold and silver to be bullish, be aware of the point of failure where your uh, count would become uh, false. Uh, be aware of that. Keep in mind the uh, century-long uh, chart that we have seen on gold. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.